my people, it is your friend Tactical. Now, today I'm going to do a uh, knife collection vid because I decided not to do fixed blade and then folder. It's just too much and there's no way I can fit it in this screen. As it is, I had to back it up and put it on my rug. So we're just going to do companies. So as for the title, you obviously know it's going to be SOGS. Now one I can't show is the Fusion Bowie because I snapped it. And I made the blade into a smaller knife, so it's out in the woods right now. So as just for a little history on what I think of SOG, uh, when I first, I've always used weapons, but I never really got into, you know, specific brands and stuff. And then I got deeper into it, and I love SOG. I thought SOG was the shit. It was the cat's ass, donkey tooth, horse's hoof. It was all that. Uh, and a lot of them are pretty sick. Now... They're, they charge a lot for lower level stuff. That's one thing that gets me about SOG. And for me, like their mediocre and lower stuff isn't that great. But their higher end stuff is good. It's like really good. So it's kind of a hit and miss. You know, as long as you, if you spend at least 80 bucks, you're going to get a decent one. Or at least like 60, 70. Then you're going to get a decent SOG. But anything under, eh, not that great. So we're going to start off with the fixed blades. Sock Junk Primitive. This one's been thoroughly tested and the tip is bent. So this one didn't fare that well. I actually did get a chip in the blade too, just chopping on some white pine. But I sharpened it and got it out. So we're going to put this thing way over here just so we make some freaking room. Uh, here's a brand new version. I bought these back in the day. So I thought I'd have two just because they look cool. There's the unused version. So yeah, we'll do all the fixed blades first. We'll start from big to small. Uh, this one's pretty sick, but again, a lot of money for not high level materials. The Sod Tiger Shark. I just took the hand guard off, but I have that in there. Love the pommel. It's a big badass. I've never tested it. It looks sick. It looks like a good fighting knife. Oz 8 Steel. I've seen some tests and pretty strong. It is a quarter inch thick. But there you go. And that used to be my favorite knife. Okay, onto the SOG seal knife. Here's the original. Well, it's not the first original. The first one was made of Oz 6. This one's made of Oz 8. That's the regular version. Then I got the black tinny version. This one's sick. And this was actually my favorite knife for a while. There you go. Uh, the seal pups. Yes, I do have some of them. I have the original, the old Oz 6 one. This one was made in Japan back in the day. So kind of cool, just, you know, novelty, having the old one. Uh, here's newer versions made of the Oz 8, the Elite version. Sick little knife, I do like it. I bought Miss Tap one. Actually, I bought her one of these, the straight edge version. I really like this one. I wish the big ones were like this. That's awesome. Yeah, I got three of them, I know I'm bad. NW Ranger. I haven't tested this yet. I really, I'm looking forward to testing this. All these will get tested eventually. Oh, I don't know about this one. Just because it was a Christmas present for my mom. Uh, this is what? Oh, the Sod Vulcan fixed blade. VG10. Nasty blade. This thing is pretty cool. The only Midas is the FRN. But besides that, it's really awesome. So I might not test that just because that was a present for mom. Okay, this one you've seen tested recently, the Field Pup 2. Eh, it did okay, steel chipped. But eh, I do like the grip, even though it got really beat up and mangled. Okay, here's the, this is actually the old one. This is uh, the Field Pup 1, but this is the first generation when they were back in Taiwan. So this one was Oz 8, and the newer ones are the 7CR 17MOB. This one's actually pretty neat. I like the the shape and the feel of that one. Yeah. Well, this is the last fixed blade. That freaking revolver hunter I just tested. This thing is freaking whack. But yeah. So there's my side fixed blades. So now for their folders. Uh, kind of like I said, if it's under 60, 70 bucks, it ain't that great, except for the Twitch 2. It's a little knife, but it's really well built. Definitely a solid knife, all metal construction, good lockup. 
flipper assisted. I'm not a big fan of assisted, but it does work very well. Also have the black version of that. Same thing, just the black tinny. Now on to some of their ones that I'm not a huge fan of. FRN, handles, no steel liners, flash two. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. Sorry. If you love this knife, I'm not kicking your friggin' dog in the balls, you know? I'm just ripping on my knife. It's not your knife. But this one's mine. But I don't like it that much. So get over it. Trident. Tonto version. Uh, this one, I carry this every day off. Frickin' locks on it. Damn, I hate these locks. The Trident. This one I've been carrying for a couple years. And here's another one. Yeah, I know. I thought it was cool back in the day. Oh, well. <laughs> Twitch 2XL. Now, this one is a good one. But this is like an $85 knife. Satin with a Tonto. Definitely well built. This is in the folders besides these down here, the Twitch 2. The rest of these are just kind of chintzy when it comes to their folders. So this thing is pretty nice. That's a good knife. So I had to get it in the black tinny. I'm bad. Let's see what else I got. Well, this one has the damn FRN handles, but I like the blade shape. Sog Mini Aegis. But it still has that, you know, drawback of no steel liners, cheesy FRN. Nice blade shape. But a lot of these knives are lower, not lower grade, but mid grade steel. Oz 8 or less. Full size Aegis. I do like how the black look. It feels pretty good. It's just eh, FRN. Now, some of these other ones have FR on but they just feel a little bit better. The Tooth Lock. I do like this one. This is my only Sam Mai uh, folder. VG10 and 420. Nasty recurve. I do like this look, little knife a lot. It's like a little piston lock on it. Right there. It is well made. This was about, well now I think it's about 90 bucks. But it was like 80 something back in the day. This thing's actually freaking really smooth. Visionary 2, man, I mean like ridiculous, ridiculous smooth. And as I use it more, I've had this for years, but you know, I just pull them out, mess with them a little bit, but damn, this thing is freaking actually really nice. Not a lot of traction on the handle, but it does have a good shape and that blade is sweet. Like I said, very smooth action on that. Here's the black, or the Vulcan Black Tinny. This thing's very nice. Nice and thick, VG10. Well, there you go again with that damn FRN, but flipper. This thing's actually a beast. I really do like this. This was like my favorite folder at one time because it is very nice. And then my last song. Hey, no FRN. It's got Crichton instead. Tomcat 3.0. Love this thing. It actually won Knife of the Year. I can't remember what year it was, but ultra stupid smooth. Beautiful recurve Bowie VG10, super thick, very, very well done. The best SOG, like highest level out of all these is this freaking thing right here. This thing has the best fit and finish. It's the most well done. Love that folder. That's one of my top folders. So there's my little collection of SOG knives. Uh, counted 27. Like I said, I did have one before that. And there might even be one hiding somewhere. I don't think so. I think that's all of them, but a good collection. Like I said, I used to be a super fanboy of them. I'm not no more. Their higher level stuff is definitely nice, but their middle to low is, eh. like I said, you're paying a lot for just Oz 8 or whatever, or freaking 8 CR 13 MOV. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind when it's VG10, S30V, D2, A2, S35, you know, something like that. I don't mind spending this much. ZDP 189, something like that. But when it's lower level steel or mediocre, I'm not spending over $100 for something like that no more. Like that uh, Tiger Shark, I think that was 180 bucks back in the day. I could be wrong for all his eight. Even those other, the big seal knives, they were 120, 130, at least 115. 100, over 100 bucks for all his eight. So overall, I Man, I like their designs. I like sock designs. I love the clip point Bowie style. Oh, man, I love the recurves. They do give you a sharp knife. Every sock I've used out of these, which ain't many, I'm going to use more in soon to come videos, but they're all freaking sharp. The bevels are usually on. It's just uh, 
some of their steels ain't that great. But stay tuned for all the tests on the rest of these, the ones I haven't tested. Besides, like I said, some of that were gifts. I'm not even going to use them. As always, thanks for hanging out with me, and until the next time we meet.